Good morning, happy Friday. We're still talking about the digestive tract and how that affects your sleep and energy and waking up in the middle of the night. And today we're talking about, well, we already talked about skin, but today we're talking about weight gain. Okay, so let's just review something here. You eat your food and then it goes into the stomach. Then after in the stomach, it begins to make its way through the small and large intestine and then all the way through, through miles and miles of <gasps> digestive tract. And then finally, it comes right through the colon and out you go. Okay. In the meantime, you have all these digestive products that need to be digesting your food. So, let's say for instance, uh, you're eating a lot of sugar. So the sugar causes inflammation. Inflammation will inflame or thicken the lining of the intestinal tract. And when you jump on the scale, you're just gonna look and feel heavier. You're gonna weigh more. The other thing is, is the bloat. Sometimes you can weigh less weight, but then you feel so bloated and so big. It doesn't matter what the scale says, right? So that's how you could be gaining weight. Now, um, what other things could affect weight gain? For sure, the wrong foods you eat, too many calories going in, need to be less, if you wanna lose weight, less than the amount of calories going out. If you're trying to maintain, then, you know, just keep it equal. The other thing is, and I get, oh my goodness, I get this question all the time on my ketone strips. Let me tell you this. Let's say, for instance, you are on a high protein diet and you're not eating carbohydrates and you're doing pristine job on this, but yet you're not showing any ketosis. So what could be wrong with that? What could be wrong with that is the fact that you might be eating too often during the day and the amount of uh, sugar or actually glucose that's stored as stored energy in your liver or in your muscles is always replenished. So why would you be breaking down fat? It doesn't matter. So. If you eat too much, if you're eating too often, if you're eating the wrong foods, a calorie's not worth a calorie. I'm only having 100, uh, 1,200 calories, but I'm not losing weight. Well, maybe the food you're eating is the food that doesn't work with you. Do you also know that um, there's another problem with that? Some people can digest food better than others. What I'm talking about is like lactose or the milk protein. If you can't break that because you don't have the enzyme, you're going to retain fluids. You're going to retain inflammation. You're going to be bloated. So it just depends. All right. So that's it for today. But you know, I've gotten so many emails on the digestion. I think what I'm going to do next week is I'm going to maybe spend one day letting you know what I do to have the best digestive track ever. All right, so we'll see you next week.